number five. Bug Up and Drive One was released back in 2022 and was actually created in Game Maker. Now it's 2024 and Buck Up and Drive 2 is in development, this time in the Gato Engine. The developer has been showing off some new development videos on Twitter and the art style and action look really, really good. A little Rad Racer-esque with crazy wall driving mayhem, we're definitely going to keep an eye out for more updates. Number four. A new year and another amazing open source gift from GD Quest. Gato Tours is a new educational tech that allows you to learn interactively, step by step, directly inside the Gato editor. And as with most things GD Quest, you too can download this technology for free and create your own interactive tours for your own tutorial videos. The tour tech itself looks great and is yet another example of why Gato and open source can be so beneficial for the community. By the way guys, if you are working on a first person shooter type game in the Gato engine or are wanting to start one, I'm in the middle of a huge FPS tutorial series here on my channel. If you want early access to tutorials or the complete project source files, you can join my Patreon. Every little bit helps create tutorials and content like this. Number three. Buckshot Roulette is a tabletop horror game that reinvents Russian Roulette, replacing the revolver with a 12 gauge. Taking place in an underground nightclub, a crooked AI dealer awaits you in a game of unscripted rounds, ruthless AI, and an immersive art design. And the game is about to get a bunch of attention because Markiplier just featured it on his channel this week with over 4 million views already. You can test your skill and your luck on itch.io. Number two. Window Kill is a twin stick shooter that really steps outside the box or rather the actual game window. Your screen is the play area and the game window is constantly closing in on you. Shoot the edges of the window to push it around your screen, manipulate extra windows and dodge enemies and bosses. Version three is already in development with more upgrades and perks and secrets to unlock. You can check out Window Kill on Steam. And before we get to our number one spot, congrats to last year's game of the year winner, Cassette Beasts. Be sure to vote for your favorite to have them featured in our new Gato Game Awards at the end of the year. And number one. I remember the good old days when the N64 was king. Newman Network hopes to bring back the nostalgia as a 3D platformer about traveling through different television channels, heavily inspired by the N64 classics. It aims to combine the great feel and style of the genre, plus add in some modern game design. You can follow the progress on the developer's YouTube channel and GitHub page. In the meantime, I might go pop in some Banjo-Kazooie. 